What's up, YouTube? You guys see the title of the video. What are the most important college classes for computer science majors? Classes that you should be taking as electives if given the opportunity, or classes that you should be really focusing on and putting in that extra effort if they're required. Well, before I begin, I wanna give a huge thanks to you guys. We just recently passed 200 subscribers, and that's awesome. So thank you to everyone who watches these videos, likes, comments, or even emails me, which is a little strange because I haven't posted my email anywhere, but it's really appreciated and it doesn't go unnoticed. So thank you, and let's get into the video. Technically, all of your classes are going to be important because the habits you create and the work you put in might not feel like it's useful, but it definitely shows and will travel with you throughout your career. To quote my band teacher from high school, anything that grows your brain is worth learning. So if you're in a film class that your college requires you to take as an elective, you should be giving it your all because you kind of need to win that battle with yourself and define yourself as a hard worker. It's an attitude that you should be bringing with you everywhere, in every class, in every work environment, in every interview, and it's gonna set you apart. It's the work you put in when the stakes are low and no one's watching that really shows up when everyone's watching. But I know you didn't click the video to hear all that, so let's get specific. What are the classes that are realistically going to help you the most? The real min-maxing of your college experience. Well, starting off with the big one, the one that's brought up in every video on the topic, for good reason, data structures and algorithms. This class can be a monster, but it's the one that you need to dial in on. This class teaches you how to think efficiently, come up in interviews the most, and if you saw my video on how important leak code is, you'll know that if you put the work in on this class, you'll be able to crush your technical interviews and hopefully write more efficient code. When you're on the job looking at your triple nested for loop, maybe you'll think to yourself, is this the best way to do this? Probably not, so save your manager and your PR reviewer some tears and really study and really put the effort in on this class. Now, what about number two? Well, it's hard to follow up DSA, but this is a class that's probably not required, but I definitely recommend as an elective, and that's any sort of database class. You're probably going to write some SQL queries at some point in your life, whether it's changes you're making for work, or you just need to query information from your company's database. It's something that's definitely relevant, so knowing how to do this without dropping your user table or writing update queries without a where clause, which I've seen firsthand at my job, definitely is something that's gonna stop your employment from getting obliterated, and also something that looks good on your resume, regardless of what position you're applying to. It gives you something you can bring up when you're in an interview, talking about your projects you worked on, some of the decisions you made on storing data or just interacting with the database. Enough said, definitely take this class, pay attention. Number three, design patterns. This class is extremely important. The concepts you learn in this class are what separate junior engineers with senior engineers. DSA teaches you to think efficiently. Design patterns teaches you to think scalably, which both are important, but this is the kind of class that gets slept on and knowing how to design your code in a scalable way or even just the best way to implement a specific solution will make you stand out and easier to promote. But remember, never overcomplicate simple solutions. There's kind of this trope that juniors keep it simple because that's all they know how to do, where mid-level and senior engineers overcomplicate it just to kind of knowledge flex on you and implementing a bunch of unnecessary systems just to show that they can and know how to. But then at the very top level, staff engineers keep it simple because not only do they know how to overcomplicate it, but they know the benefit of just keeping it simple from all the years of experience. Maybe you haven't heard the abbreviation before, K-I-S-S, keep it simple, stupid. Last but not least, the final class I recommend is any sort of networking class. Not the networking where you have to talk to other people because that would suck, 
but computer networking, protocols, routers, etc. Definitely a class that's easy to test on during an interview, and just knowing how your computer works and connects to other devices, it just makes you a better engineer. Now I want to finish this video with a small rant, and that is UML diagrams. I personally hate UML diagrams, and I've never used them outside of school, which isn't a problem, right? I started the video by saying, just because you're not going to use something doesn't mean it won't help you learn other concepts that might be more useful to you. But my problem is, these are pushed way more than they should be. In my experience, I had four different classes reteach me what UML diagrams were and why they're important. And it's just annoying when you're in a specific class, such as mobile development, and you're wasting a week or two on UML diagrams. I don't know. This is just something that I kind of wanted to throw my opinion out on, and I'd love to see what you guys think in the comments. Maybe it was just me. Maybe you guys love UML diagrams. Definitely let me know. But regardless, thanks for watching. Let me know your opinions. Maybe there's a class I missed. Maybe you don't use any of these classes. Let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got. Stay large. See ya.